morning, everybody. Muy buenos dias. Just started my makeup uh, for the Weather Network. Yes, I do my own makeup for Star Foodies. The other show I host, uh, sometimes I work with makeup artists, sometimes I do it on my own. I'm vlogging today, so I'm going to be uploading um, stories throughout the day on my Instagram, and then I put it all together, and then I'll be showing that as a day in the life of a Saturday on my YouTube channel. You can subscribe there too. But for today, I just started doing my makeup. I just uh, have my concealer on for <laughs> those who are wondering and just filled in my eyebrows a bit. But okay, so I'm getting ready for the weather network. We're going to film a promo spot today outside and then I'm going to get ready for my shift, but I'm going to be posting throughout the day so you can follow along with me. Okay, so I am makeup ready. I had my hair in braids, so I usually sleep in double dutch braids or French braids. Just hustled it out, makeup completely ready. My hair does go up through the weather network. So once I get there, I look through my locker, choose my outfit, then I match the hair to the outfit. And those of you who watch me on a regular probably know, I like to do matching ribbons or bows or flowers. And so I sort that all out when I get there, but I'm just gonna uh, learn the weather right now, but I'm gonna head there au naturel because I'm also filming a commercial before I get there. So now what I like to do is learn the weather prior to getting there. Uh, then I'll get my briefing from our team of meteorologists, but I always like to have an overview of what's going on and then just put it into my own words because that's key to being an awesome TV presenter. You're creating content as you're presenting it at the same time and if you guys watch me on star foodies you know like it's all ad libs it nothing really is scripted there so okay i'm off to learn the weather okay dokie so we last left off where i was going to learn the weather and indeed i have so every television presenter you know does this in a different fashion the way i do it is um, i'm not a meteorologist and i haven't been on the weather network for even a year yet so i'm a television presenter my job is always to connect with the audiences and that's something that i love to do to articulate things in a way that everybody could comprehend them and also to do it in a positive fashion where i can brighten up someone's day and that's always a huge pleasure for me so thank you to everybody for their positive feedbacks um, for their, thank you to everybody for their positive feedback. Um, I love doing what I do and I love connecting with the audiences and I love all of your uh, wonderful feedback. I definitely give my all when I'm at the Weather Network and also on my TV show Star Foodies. I just love connecting with audiences and brightening up your day and uh, I hope to do that every time I'm on air. So. Uh, back to learning the weather like I mentioned everybody has their own different style so the way I like to do it is I love to read the long-range highlights that Dr. Doug you may recognize him from the weather network he provides this to us uh, company-wide I learn those in five categories national and then regional and um, the way regional is broken down in Canada is the West Coast, predominantly British Columbia, pushing into the prairies, uh, Eastern and Central Canada into Ontario, and then finally Atlantic, which includes the Maritimes and the Atlantic. So uh, the Maritimes uh, do not include Newfoundland and Labrador. So that's why the Atlantic is the Maritimes plus Newfoundland and Labrador, and then the Maritimes excluding Newfoundland and Labrador. So I learned that, um, and then I read the daily highlights. I put together my notes, which are always separated nationally, regionally, and then per day. My shift on the weekend is uh, overnight. My shift on weekends, Saturday, Sunday, is evening overnight into pre-dawn. So even though I start filming at could be as early as 5.30 depending on the weather activity um, all the way to the early hours of the morning. My show airs from about 7 to 6.30 a.m. Um, sometimes we're uh, live to tape, sometimes we're live depending on the weather activity and whenever I go live I always like to let audiences know we are now live, we are dealing with you know active weather in this region. Uh, for watches and warnings is typically when we uh, go live and again that is all controlled from producers and meteorologists and once again my job is to articulate all the information as best I can to audiences and then also to communicate with you on social media so if you ever have any questions for me or concerns even during my shift I do try and check my social media in between filming so now I am well versed and well prepared on the weather 
Uh, I am going to go early to the weather network today. I am going to go pick my clothes. I always uh, enter and exit in my own comfy clothes, really like sportswear, loungewear. I change there. In this case today, I'm probably going to change twice because that was two. I don't know why I showed four, so twice because um, I'm filming a promo spot for my animal segment that airs every Sunday night. That's called Press Pause, P-A-W-S. And um, I'm going to film that with a videographer named David Hodge. And I'm trying to, I hope to get some behind the scenes for you as well. And then, um, then I go into the change room, my dressing room, and uh, I choose my clothes. I put up my hair. My hair is always up for my shift on the weather network. So then I will always use hair accessories. If you guys watch me, you know, I like to match that up. I mentioned that earlier. So flowers, ribbons, pins, clips, I match that with what I'm wearing. But first things first, I'm gonna go pick up my clothes, see what I have at home. I may or may not bring something with me. I may just use what's in my locker. Go get that ready. And uh, then I will be departing shortly. And of course, I'll take you with me uh, for that as well. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm ready to go. As you can see, literally, um, t-shirt and joggers these are my favorite joggers because of the slim fit ones from pink so then you always look neat I just wanted to show you guys my nails as well I don't know if you could see these um, I never do fake nails I'm blessed with my mom's fingers and nails super long nail bed so this is what I have today it's a matte pink from NYX and I highly recommend this because I never do shellac like I don't want any damage to my nails ever I try to do everything natural this dries and I'm not kidding you in like 30 seconds and I actually did two coats today so even if you wear vibrant colors it's so neutral that matches everything so yeah this is my final look to get there and then to come back I just add on like a sweater or a leather bomber or something and um off we go so we're on our way now changed into a tank top just removed the t-shirt because it is super hot and humid we should be there in just under 40 minutes depending on how traffic goes get into the dressing room change we're gonna film the promo spot with David he's waiting for us there and try to give you some behind the scenes there too I am not going to be filming and driving because I'm new at this better safe than sorry but before I go there is a little bit of traffic <laughs> so you got the weather network we are now in Oakville, Ontario, which is still in the greater Toronto area for those who don't know. And this person here did not stop. And I noticed in this area, people do not stop at the red lights um, or stop signs. And I really don't know why um, that I do not do that. So, vamos a entrar. We are entering the building. Hola. There's nobody really there, but I just like to say that anyways. Okay, so here we go. So I'm nice and early, how I always like to be. I'm gonna grab my things, and now I am changing for the promo spot that we're gonna film, the commercial. And, um,. Pretty much know what I'm going to wear but I always like to have that option give myself a few extra options in case something doesn't work um that's just like what's the most important because if something doesn't work you need to always have your backups so okay so here we go okay so I just arrived I put away my luggage my bag what I like to do when I first get in is um, like I mentioned earlier I went through all of the weather highlight notes and I like to do that again check my email because it's always good to check that in case a producer needs a voiceover we have a voiceover booth here where I can just run and give that to somebody who might need it straight away so so far I don't have that so I'm gonna get out my weather highlights So 
So I just get out all my notes for the day I review them, but today is a little bit special because I'm shooting the commercial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review those notes, touch up my makeup, and then I'm gonna show you the final look. So in between sets here, I did not film the dressing room changing into this outfit because I had to film a promo for the press pause. That's our animal show every Sunday. Then I had to quickly change and then we had to do some lives. So it would have been great if I had the camera, but you know set up but I did not so now I'm just gonna show you guys throughout now it's evening into our overnight and pre-dawn we still got lots of filming to do there is a lot of active weather going on across the country uh, active weather is basically when they're it's pretty self-explanatory right what you think so there's a lot of activity so severe thunderstorms watches and warnings earlier this evening we actually had a tornado warning for uh, southwestern Ontario for the Windsor area pushing into Essex County as well and then our meteorologist will tell us okay you need to go live right now and just warn everybody in real time good evening our severe weather watches and warnings continue for Ontario just in from environment Canada severe thunderstorm warning for the area of Orangeville that watch still in place for Kingston details for you as our live coverage continues and then so right now um, I just prepare different map sequences that's what you see uh, behind us those movies and those stills so I prepare those in between and then I usually just um, drink and eat when I can uh, I don't really take like a long break or anything during my shift um, my break is basically going to do some voiceovers for radio which I will film later on so right now um, Julian is running around um, just trying to get our new clicker to work and then I'm gonna test it and I can actually show you guys the difference I showed you that old clicker the new one looks quite futuristic and once again this is how we uh, click through all of those sequences that you see behind us could be on the active weather set where I am today where it looks like there's that television behind me or you could be in uh, a studio with that green screen where you Oh, regardless of the studio, you're always clicking through a clicker. Um, I'll show you around the active weather set right now. Okay, so this is the table at the active weather set. I always sanitize everything, so my section is um, super clean, and then before and after, it's always just nice, courteous to do that. This is the active weather set and the clicker will once again take me through the different movies and stills I can't do that right now because like I mentioned Julian is updating it and then I am looking into um, this teleprompter but I actually don't use a teleprompter I'm just looking into the camera and um, that's why you have to be super fast and uh, be a very creative content creator I think to be uh, very good at this of course you can take your notes before and after but this is not like old school news where you're reading stuff off the teleprompter this is a very fast-moving current uh, newsroom and it's very exciting okay so it's now several hours later since I last uh, did a quick vlog so what we've been doing is we've been doing some national hits some live hits because we've had some active weather and now we are doing uh, regional hits so basically going across the country regionally and giving everybody the top weather highlights especially what they can expect during active weather and then I like to always give everybody uh, a seven day what they could expect for their forecast because again I am here primarily during the weekends although this week as it's, uh, we celebrate Canada's birthday I will be here for five days straight during the day so I'll be vlogging during that time too so up now I am doing a hit is what we call them so a um, recorded segment on um, the west coast as well as the prairies so I'm about to do that right now 
Okay, so the night has progressed and of course I'm still here. We've got these new social distancing sort of rules, even though pretty much here alone, except for the uh, small team where we're on the uh, active weather set where you have been seeing me do those hits. I am now, as promised, entering the voiceover booth, dark and spooky. I'm gonna turn on the light for you here. And I'm gonna show you how I do my voiceovers. Okay, so I just have my jacket on, but I'm still in my um, TV presenter clothing. I'm just cold and I feel like it always gets cold here at the end of the night. So let's stay focused on the task at hand. So right now I'm doing voiceovers. I do regionally and then I do a national one across the country in 50 seconds. Uh, and this is obviously used for uh, those who are visually impaired, right? So they just want to hear us talking about the weather. And then this is paired up with graphics that you see played uh, on the Weather Network channel. Okay, back into streetwear, comfy loungewear, and one of my favorite things to do at the end of the night is pull off my super tight ponytail. You know that a head massage is like one of the best feelings in the entire world, so I like to do this. At the end of the night it's very it feels like very rewarding even though my hair looks crazy um, and then something else I want to show you guys is these Mac uh, they're just demi wipes this smells phenomenal I literally just use one so like I mentioned I just like to have all my makeup off for uh, when I uh, do my drive home it smells like cologne which is my absolute favorite and then it just, I feel like it really takes off all the makeup really, really well, glides off. And I wear like Maybelline 24 hour stay lipstick and I find it takes that off like really well as well. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just do the remainder of my eye makeup when I go home because a lot of it is water resistant so I don't want to like leave looking like a complete crazy person. And then I'm going to go home and I actually um, wash my face with tea tree oil so I should do a separate video on that. And then I like my nighttime routine. I'm super simple because I have acne prone skin. So for me, you're not going to get any fancy routine. So there I am. Clear faced. Uh, getting ready for my drive home. Okay, the end of... It's not end of day. It's like end of night. I'm in this weird like orange lighting here. Made it home. Hour drive tired after today's shift I still haven't taken off all my makeup I'm gonna do that now um, and uh, just really get ready for bed Wow, my eyes are really tired today okay so I will see y'all tomorrow